Well, hello, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in to Your Word for the Day today. I hope that you're having a great Tuesday wherever you're watching from today. This week, we're talking about the spiritual habit of inviting, where we ask the question, who am I encouraging to follow Jesus? From the beginning of Christianity, invitation has been a hallmark activity for those who follow Jesus. The book of John tells us that when Jesus was establishing his group of 12 disciples, he interacted uh, at one point with Andrew towards the beginning of this. And Andrew went home and found his brother Peter and brought him to come and meet Jesus. And Peter became a disciple. Then after this, Philip started following and the same thing happened. He went and found Nathanael and told him to come and meet Jesus. And Nathanael followed. So Christianity started and it has continued through the intentional act of inviting people to come and meet Jesus. At Calvary, we want to be a place where you feel comfortable and confident doing just that. We're intentional with so many different aspects of our services and what we do to make our services something that the unchurched wants to attend and wants to be a part of for the first time. So I want you to be thinking about who you could invite who you could ask to join you for a service at Calvary sometime or wherever you call uh, your church home. And maybe the name that pops into your head feels a little bit like a one in a hundred shot that they'd ever attend. And And I hope that's the case. And I hope at the same time that that doesn't discourage you. But instead, I want to remind you of this in Luke chapter 15, starting in verse three, it says, and Jesus told them this parable. What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he has lost one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in open country and go after the one that is lost until he finds it? And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and his neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep that was lost. Just so I tell you, there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who need no repentance." So today I want to encourage you of this and remind you of this, and I hope that you'll represent Jesus well to those around you. I hope that you'll be a catalyst for those who need to be considered this one in a hundred shot. So there would be rejoicing when they come to know Jesus as their Savior. So today, who can you invite to come hear about the good news of Jesus, to find hope, to find forgiveness, to find grace in the, the Lord and Savior Jesus in their life? And I hope that you would extend an invitation and be that person who constantly encourages us to leave the 99 to go after the one. Hope that you have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.